Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Alpin and I am excited to show you around the Stress Relief Center. The Stress Relief Center is kind of like a fitness facility or a spa where you go in and have all kinds of options to work out your body and different areas of fitness that you'd like to work on. Only in the Stress Relief Center, it's designed to help you with your mind, primarily to help you with your stress. So let's take a few minutes and look around at what is available each time you come into the Stress Relief Center. One of the first things you notice when you come to the Stress Relief Center is there's a lot here. This is not a few small things that might take up a few minutes. This is a tremendous amount of information, of activities, of experiences that will help you really get the upper hand on your stress. What you'll notice first of all is there are these different areas, kind of like rooms in a spa or in a fitness facility that you can go into. Let me just take a minute and walk you through a few of these just to give you an idea of what's available. The first one is this live workshops area. When we go into the workshops area, we quickly find out that there are areas inside this room that, are, that have different purposes. If we start at the top here, we can see a few things that are associated with different components of stress. So like, for example, if we were to click this one, Symptoms of Stress, when we go to this page, when we go to this next page, and uh, it's titled Symptoms of Stress, you'll notice that it looks kind of like a schoolroom in that the there's a class going on, kind of like a workshop would be only it's a little bit more academic. The difference is what I've done with each of these videos, and none of these videos are any longer than between five and eight minutes long, is I've taken out every bit of the academic feel of them, so it just feels like a workshop. And each time you come to any of these workshops, you learn a lot about uh, the topic in a very experiential way. So what, how this works is you click on the video and you can watch how it, we said last time how it goes. That the fight or flight response kind of looks like this, where we said, that, and so I'm going to be training you, explaining everything you need to know about all different components of stress. The one of the cool things about this is I've also set this up so that it is also available in just audio. So if you click this right here, we said last time that the fight or flight response kind of looks like this, where we said that all, and these are downloadable. If you hit save as, you can download these audios to your smartphone or iPod, and that way you can listen to them as you go wherever you want to go. And it goes through what, would, what an entire class would look like of that particular topic. At the bottom of each area, you can either click back to the workshops area and see all the other ones. We have 33 different trainings, different workshops that are available right now. And you can see we, we have down here at the bottom are my favorite, the mindfulness. One of the things that people really need to understand about stress and stress management is mindfulness, how to be mindful. And we've got three specific classes, an en enormous amount of training on how to be mindful and how to enjoy the experience of being mindful. We focus on the subconscious mind and we learn how the subconscious mind is the engine behind all 
or most of the activities that we do each day. And many of the things that we do and a lot of the stress that we feel is based on subconscious training that we've gone through or had during our lives. We focus on relationships and learn about empathy, that vital skill that helps you uh, really get to know people and get to understand them and connect with them in far deeper levels. We, sp we spend quite a bit of time focusing on how to bring the mind-body back into balance. Through various tools, we focus on sleep, um, serendipity, <laughs> we even had a session on running barefoot and the value of that, strange as that sounds. We go and focus on nutrition a little bit. This section up here is designed to help us learn how to turn off our stress. A lot of the symptoms that we struggle with are based on chronic stress and so if we can do things that turn off the stress, that will help a lot of our symptoms of stress go away, our problems, our health problems. And up here near the top we learn how to prevent stress. I really think it is preventable. And through these various workshops, we learn how that happens. And a thorough understanding of how stress happens, why it happens, and how, how it's designed to happen is kind of the beginning of this particular area of the Stress Relief Center. And so we can, from here, go back to the Stress Relief Center. So that was just the first area, and that's a tremendous amount of options for you there. The second one, Guided Relaxation. This area takes us to a whole bunch of guided relaxation exercises that are specifically designed to help you turn off your stress. Uh, some of these may sound a little familiar to you. Guided imagery, for example, is not an unknown topic, but it's amazingly powerful for helping us turn off our stress. Uh, some of these are a little more physical, like progressive relaxation. This one called Flowing Comfort is a very mindful meditation. And I walk you through steps that will make it so that you, you um, listen to them and it automatically turns off your stress. How it works is so you would go to the you click the link and immediately it starts up an audio file and it sounds like this. For the next few minutes you will do the relaxation exercise called flowing comfort. It is designed to produce deep levels of relaxation. And so you would listen to this. This one happens to be the longest one at 20 minutes. Most of them are right around 15 minutes and you can um, save the audio, you right click it with your mouse and you save it so it downloads to your computer and then you can stick it on your phone and then you can listen to it with headphones and um, use it to help you relax and I suggest there's really two times when guided relaxation is really really beneficial one of those times is during in the afternoon, say you've had a pretty busy day and you've got a lot going on in the evening, you just need a recharge. Well, some people take long naps, but these are like power naps. We even have one called the power nap. It's amazing how how much of a recharge or how regenerate how how much they regenerate our mind and body. The other really powerful component of these relaxation exercises is when you use them just before you fall asleep. Most people have sleeping problems. Most people it takes longer than about five or ten minutes to fall asleep. Now that's not supposed to happen. And so when people listen to these as the last thing they do before they fall asleep, they find that they're able to fall asleep much more quickly and their sleep is 
far more deep and restful and they wake up feeling far more, re far more refreshed. I've used this with thousands of people over the years and this is one of the uh, tools that has probably made as much of a difference in people's lives as anything else for turning off their stress and making their uh, stress symptoms go away. So we come down to the bottom of this and we return to the stress relief center. The third area is a different sort of instructional area be different than this one. When we click on this, it takes us to a room, a page that is uh, designed to do the five things that are necessary in every, for a good stress management program to work. You need to be able to understand stress, learn how to pre prevent it, learn how to reduce it, learn mindfulness, and then learn how to make stress management a lifestyle that continues with you for life. And so when you click these, let's say we're, we're learning about mindfulness, for example, uh, we click these and this will bring up a new page that has um, short little videos. Most of them are about three to four minutes long that teach us little principles. So like, what is mindfulness? Discover what mindfulness is and what it, what it is and what it's not. So when you click on this, you're able to listen to a short little video. You can send it over to YouTube so it comes up bigger. And what is uh, mindfulness? Mindfulness can be described as intentional, non-judgmental, moment-to-moment -moment awareness of the here and now. It may be thought of not so much as a technique, but as a way of being. Mindfulness is not considered a relaxation technique. So you can see this one's only about three minutes long. And the idea behind these is that these are just short and very powerful principles that you can learn about uh, different components of stress management. And then we can return to the Stress Relief Center again. And in this next section, we have specific stress, master, stress mastery courses. And these are combinations of videos, activities that are designed to really hone in on one specific area of stress management. So this, for example, is uh, a focus on meditation. When we click this, it takes us to a page or a room that is everything you need to know about meditation. This particular training, by the time you're done with this training on meditation, you will have a really clear understanding of what meditation is, what it's not, how it works, and mm, to my mind, you'll be a master of meditation. You won't feel the effects of them until you start meditating, but you'll know exactly how to meditate, just like the masters. So then we go back to, so then we go back to the courses and trainings and we've done a specific one with this release is kind of an overview of the main principles of stress management. This is our foundational course. This was the first course that we made. And it gives us an, a thorough understanding of everything you need to know um, about stress, stress management, emotions, upgrading your thoughts, overcoming fear, getting out of your comfort zone, how to prevent stress. This is a powerful class all by itself. 
and if I were inviting somebody to do any one thing in this stress relief center, any if, if I were inviting you to go to any one room in the stress relief, relief center, it would be this one. Because this is, this is really a powerful class. And then we go back to the stress relief center. Most of what is in this, the instructional videos and uh, some of the stress mastery courses were developed based on these five workbooks that I wrote a few years back. Uh, which I titled Mastering Stress and these are actual books that you can download free freely with your membership and it's the same five things that somebody needs to know they need to understand stress it's very thorough going into that learning how to prevent stress learning how to reduce it turn it off when you are too stressed learning how to be mindful and how to make stress mastery a component of your life. And you can get one single PDF download that is all five of the books at one time if you'd like. Going back to the Stress Relief Center. I've written a few extra books that are available but this one I wrote a few years back called The World is Not a Stressful Place. I use this as a basis for one of my college courses. I also wrote a book for athletes. I've worked with a lot of athletes over the years and I wrote a book focusing on peak performance with the basis of the book around reducing stress. Really stress gets in the way of more um, athletes performing at their peak than probably anything else besides injuries, of course. And so this one is also freely available and I've used it with lots of athletes in the past. This book is the one that I wrote with Sam Bracken and it's not free, it's not, a, it's not freely available, but it is available on uh, Amazon. It's, and uh, you can click to order it. It's a good book. And then I also wrote a textbook. Right now I'm getting ready to publish the fifth edition. This is the fourth edition of this book titled Stress Management for Life. And it's being used by um, colleges and universities all over the country. And then we can return to the Stress Relief Center and in this section, in this little area, are a lot of activities in my classes and my workshops. We, we do things that are very experiential and so, um, which means we, we do things that give people the experience of being mindful or the experience of thinking differently or the experience of um, creating their goals and understanding how their goals relate to their identity and their uh, way of being. And so we've included a lot of these. This is an area that we've got a lot more coming in the near future. And in some of the classes, earlier classes, we also refer to these activities. And so, for example, if we click Empathic Listening, there's a PDF page that walks you through how to be empathic with somebody, use empathy, and it guides you in a little exercise where you can practice based on the information in the empathy uh, workshop. There's a lot here in this section and a lot more to come. Now we go back to the Stress Relief Center. In this section called Instructional Audio, I have 
also created audio versions of my five workbooks. And each of these, same as the, the other audios, you can download them, you can listen to them directly. How to be mindful. There are four primary mental characteristics that immediately move you into a state of mindful awareness. So you can listen to those that way or you can download them. Just right click it and hit save audio as and that'll allow you to download it to your computer. Stick it on your phone and listen to it that way. We return now to the stress relief center. We also have an area that we're currently developing that will be kind of a get together with everybody else kind of place. There's an area where we'll have questions and answers where you can ask questions and get answers from other people. There's an area here where you can ask me a question. I've also uh, got a newsletter that I'll, that if you haven't already signed up for, please do because that's something we'll be sending out on a weekly basis. And we also are connected through the social media areas. And this is another area where we will be able to interact and connect and communicate with each other. The thing that I know for sure is that everybody has a little stress and most people have more than they'd like. And working together on this, we can make an enormous difference in how each of us feels and how each of us are doing with our stress.